Now to a disturbing crime on camera in Cutler Bay. Police making an arrest after a body was found inside a burning pickup. Local 10's Alex Finney is live with this developing story. Alex. And Janice, we know the investigation still remains ongoing, but what a wild situation, right? And a very sad one here, as we know that there has been a victim as a result of this truck fire. Also, Miami-Dade police, they just released a short time ago the name of that victim. A startling sight outside of a strip mall in Cutler Bay. This truck engulfed in flames. But this image shows only the tip of the iceberg to this story. How come a fire, a fire. And what officers found inside. The driver is dead. Police have identified the victim as 39-year-old Igor Ernesto Ortiz. He was burnt up inside that blue Ford truck. This witness, who does not want to show his face, says he saw it all happen. Firefighters were called out to the parking lot on Old Cutler Road and Southwest 92nd Avenue. Once they put that fire out, they discovered Ortiz burnt up inside the truck. I saw two people in the truck. According to the arrest report, 35-year-old Randall Lautzenheiser is now behind bars. Lautzenheiser and the victim were seen at the Chevron buying gas and beer. He's just rushing, give me $5 gas like that. And then he left. And He's changed. He said, Give, can I have a beer with that change? I'm okay, okay, go ahead. Then he took a beer and left. A witness who was nearby that Chevron heard Lautenheiser say he was, quote, going to be on CNN. That same witness says that he saw the subject standing next to the truck when it went up in flames Thursday afternoon. Police say Lautenheiser confessed to getting a small canister of gas at the Chevron and bringing it inside the truck with the victim. He also told investigators the canister of gas ignited but would not specify as to how. And so you see there, there's still a lot to piece together for investigators at this hour. Now, it is worth mentioning that we have reached out to the families in both cases here, but no one responded in terms of wanting to actually give a statement at this time. But of course, as soon as we do get more information on the family side and also on the investigation, we'll be sure to pass it along to you. For now, that's the very latest live in Cutler Bay tonight. Alex Finney. Local 10 News. All right.